Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this Halloween Horror Nights video, come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow because the next two months, you're gonna see a good amount of Halloween Horror Nights. In all seriousness, I'm probably gonna go to six Halloween Horror Nights together over the next two months. And I'll put a disclaimer right now, the majority of this vlog will be at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. It is not the nicest, friendly video like we usually have at Disney, so if you have a small child, or if you are a small child watching this and get scared easily, you may not want to watch this vlog because it's kind of spooky city in there. As the sun sets and the Howling Horror Nights opens up in 2019, HHN 29, it's scary. And I'm scared, so you've been walking. Time I can't wait! It's finally here. I'm so nervous and so excited. We're getting ready. It is hot and sweaty out, but it'll be good once the sun goes down. We've been out here like 15 minutes. We're gonna get here another 40 ish. The 6 30 is gonna open up the gates. But it's exciting! In and the Halloween Horror Nights has begun! I am completely and utterly overwhelmed. I'm too scared, so I just keep moving. I haven't gone into a house. I don't, so I think they opened up the lines, but the houses haven't started yet. But the scare zones are going. Before I get like full on HHN, I just gotta see. Because the park closed at 5. Opening technically back up for Halloween Hornets at 6 30. There's nobody here. When does this ever happen? What? I wonder if Gringotts is open yet. Yeah, no, they're waiting until 6 30. Alright, I may not be the best Halloween Horror Nights informational vlogger because we're doing it. There's literally no wait. Nobody's here but me. Okay, it may not be Halloween Horror Nights, but I am all by myself on this, on this elevator. I'm by myself. I am by myself. This is insane. This is insane. This is, this is, this is insane. I just wrote that by myself. And by by myself, I mean literally by myself to both carts in that ride were empty except for me in the front row. That was one of the craziest experiences in my life. Great way to start off Halloween Horror Nights 2019. Now I gotta go see if I can wrangle up some friends and see where they're at in line. Wow, that was crazy. Here we go, quick glance at some HHN merch. Available after midnight. Cool, cool. Oh, Academy of Villains, I can't wait to see that. Oh, Wowzilla. And of course some Ghostbusters, looking solid, all oh, that's huge. Alright, so wait times, at least for the two houses back here, which are original content houses, don't look too bad right now, 20 minutes each. And I was just about to muster up the courage to go into the depths of fear, fear one, which has to do with water, and that's a real fear of mine, it's like dark, deep, open water. Oh my god, House of a Thousand Corpses is only 20 minutes too. Um, but then right as I was about to get in line, my friend Sam texted me back and was like, cause I was like, Sam, he did the stay in scream where if you're an annual pass holder, you can stay in the park. When well, if you get in the park before it closes, you can stay in a holding zone and kind of like fast pass a house right when it opens. So that's what he did. I don't know what house it was, um, but he's over in the Rob Zombie uh, scare zone. So I'm gonna meet him there and I won't be as scared. I'm still gonna be scared, but not as scared. First house of the night. What is this one called? Uh, Nightingale. Nightingale. I found my friend, so I'm not alone. I was about to go in a house by myself, but I chickened out and then Sam texted me and said, I'm here, here by Rob Zombie. 
Thank you. But well, we're gonna do the first house. Is this your third? Third house. Yeah. Sam's killing it. <laughs> that was way better than I expected. There were some cool monsters and some good scares. Woo! My first house, Sam's third. We were pleasantly fourth, surprised. Fourth, oh, your fourth? Yeah. Pleasantly oh, surprised. Yeah, third house, very good. Very good. So it was all like zombie creature, Spartan, Roman. Yeah. Death. There was a lion in there. Spartacus with weird crow creatures. Right? Yes. We waited about 30 minutes about for this right here. Universal Monsters. This is the one house, like, this is the one I'm most excited about for original content. I was being naive and I thought the new land was going to be kind of like this. But Sam's like, no, wait until you see the monsters. The new park's not going to be this style. I don't think so. I mean, I got nothing to Too spooky. Man. Too spooky. Whoa. First of all, I'm getting dripped on. That was so good. Alright, that was way more, way better than I expected. Yeah, it was good. I didn't see too much Dracula and I missed all the mummy scares. Put the pride spot on. You know, you know what was uh, our downfall there? Is there was a pack of three like little girls in front of us. And they were screaming and getting terrified the entire time. They were stalling every time they got scared. And a lot of the scares was like a double where it's like mm -hmm. you jump out and yeah. then they go around the corner and get you again. Yeah, so these girls would get scared, stop, knowing that they're going to come around the corner. And then the scare actor would just be ready again. So I saw a lot of the scares, but they weren't at me, which I appreciated because I'm a little scaredy cat. But yeah, yeah. big thumbs up on that one. Well, that's spooky. I cordially invite you to the Vanity Ball. Killer Clowns, looking like an hour. I may wait until it dies down. There is a line. But they got a, a Killer Clown in front of JoJo ice cream, taking photos. And here's a clown, say hi. <laughs> this looks much cooler at night. With all the lights on. We're in the, is this considered Moe's or what is this place called? This is, uh, well, I mean, it's the Krusty Burger. It's basically a food court with all the, all the food places from the Simpsons. I never knew this existed. Oh, it's dope. So here's all the famous places to eat from Simpsons. I love the theming in here. Really appreciate a good theme. I got some fancy thing they call Buzz Cola, which Sam has taught me is, it's in the show, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a gimmick in the show. Here it's a Diet Cola with uh, cherry syrup. Yeah, but they make it, like Sam's point out, like how they used to actually make cherry pops, where they put the, the cherry syrup in the cup and then put the cola on top. Pretty good. I also got to get some water because I want to inhale these and rehydrate so I don't inhale my cold pops. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We're about to attempt something I did not think would happen tonight. All right, so we got real lucky. We're gonna try to say this loud and quick so we don't get copyrighted. We waited 45 minutes and we are about three minutes away not even from getting inside. That's less than a 50 minute wait for one of the biggest houses of the year. Booyah! Human sacrifice, dogs and cats, living together, necessary! Woo! Oh, spooky, spooky. 
Oh, I love the logo. We'll give you a quick review of how uh, Ghostbusters after the show, but it was an amazing house. But we have to get our spot for Marathon of Mayhem, the Lagoon show that's the first time they're ever doing it. So we got to see that. We got it. All right, so Ghostbusters first. Waited only like 50 minutes, which is incredible for opening night. Yeah. On probably, would you say it's like the biggest house because it's in that spot? Yeah, it's the spot where Stranger Things was, and that was the biggest house that year. I don't think it's as big as Stranger Things was, so I think they're laying out the the the, the, um, the maze. The, the maze is differently, yeah. but it was very very big. I loved it though. It was a great one. Good mixture of like puppetry and yep. show storyline and everything and then we just did marathon of mayhem i might make that a once a visit thing yep. that was an absolutely incredible i was doing that every single time there wasn't any fireworks which you didn't need it, it was only eight minutes long too so yeah. they, they do it three or four times a night depending on what day you come only eight minutes do it sam's gonna get a milkshake and he's gonna head out i'm gonna go try to find that guy named deb and bianca and jason see if they're still here and i'm gonna try to ride out the next three hours i need two more houses in me tonight Thanks, Here we go, my first house all alone, Yeti, 50 minute away, Terror of the Yukon. I wonder if I would compare it to Everest afterwards, but it was way better. It said it was a 45 minute wait or 50, 50 minute wait when I got in line, but we're almost at the front and it's only been 25 minutes, so definitely you're probably going to get my five houses tonight. Uh, Dev, Bianca, and Jason had to leave, they, they left, Dev wasn't feeling too good, he had a headache. So I'll, hopefully I'll get a chance to hit up H ten with that and all of them later. Um, so I'm running solo. Oh, it's snowing. We are in the Yukon now. A big bloody yeti. better than I expected. I kind of went into it with real world expectations for anybody who's been to past years. It kind of gave me like dead water vibes at first and I wasn't a big fan of that one but it was very well done. So there were hunters in there hunting the Yeti and you would feel like jolts of air if they shot by you and then there'd be like cold cold water because you were in the Yukon and then there'd be like dripping water. It was very creepy. The monsters were scary. We gotta look at the time to see what it's a good, what's a good ride to, or uh, what's a good house to do next? Red alert, red alert. Killer Clowns, the app says, is 30 minutes. It's been a high ticket item all night. And it's one of the houses I've been most pumped for. I got real lucky with times again. I only waited about 25 minutes for Killer Clowns. They close the door, which usually means they're changing scare actors. So they might have fresh clowns in this house. Very spooky. Here we go, here we go, Killer Clowns. Oh, that was scary.
Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Killer clowns? Way scarier than I thought. I think it was because the loud noise, there was a lot of loud noises and very bright lights. That got me a lot. But it's 12 o'clock. I think I might come back later this week or next week. So I think I'm gonna head out. I got a big running weekend. I miss Sarah, I miss Eve. So, and I'm so thirsty. So I'm gonna just get at them. Halloween Horror Nights 29, 2019. Very successful first night. And I will be seeing you very, very soon. I want to give a shout out to Nate from Paging Mr. Morrow and Josh from the WW couple. We're in them twice tonight. They were having a good time. I think they conquered all the houses, pretty much everything. So they had a good night. We'll put their stuff down below. They're good people and great channels. I'm home. I'm home. This is how you know I'm home. What was yesterday's? Hey, everybody. Hey, this is my wife. She's in our vlog, too. How was your day? Long and worky. But, but you did lots of good work. Mm -hmm. What's today's date? I think it's the sixth. By Whale Ayani. Be thankful for what you have, that your life, no matter how bad you think it is, is someone else's fairy tale. Ooh, that's deep and accurate. I'm a sweaty mess. I'm chilly. And we're both very tired. Mm-hmm. And it's the weekend. I love how I don't wear nights. I'm so happy you get to go. I only went to the head for houses. Eve's ready for bed. It's her scratching the bed trying to make it comfy. Mm -hmm. Thank you for enjoying how much with us. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.